Hey guys, welcome to another video. So today I've got something a little bit different to show you guys and it's a book review. So we're going to be talking about uh, my brand new book from Ed Marlowe, Revolutionary Card Technique. Now, I have been in the hunt for a good, solid, quality book uh, that teaches you a lot of slides, not necessarily uh, an effects type of book. I wanted to upgrade from my usual books, which are very, very nice and, and they're great and all, but I wanted to take the plunge to that next level. And I was thinking about Card College, uh, but then a friend of mine suggested this book, Revolutionary Card Techniques, and uh, I got it. And let me say that, yes, it is a bit on the pricier side. I paid $50 plus shipping. But that said, this is the best $50 that you're going to spend in a book. And let me tell you why. You can buy a book that's worth $50, $60 and it has, I don't know, let's say 18 effects. And that's what you're going to get, just 18 effects. Usually it has even less. You do the effects, you do the ones that you like, and that's it. But with a book like this, you're not getting effects, you're getting slight and you learn the slides. And then there's also a few things that you can do with the slides already built in, into the book. So it's kind of a mixture of both, but it's more slight intensive. And this book is huge. It's fat. It's large. It doesn't even fit in my normal bookshelf. I have to store it away someplace else because of just how big and thick this book is. This is university type textbook material. I mean, this is just so advanced. The material in here is just world class. Uh, reading just the chapter on the Pharaoh Shuffle, I have to say that Ed Marlowe is just a genius. That man had a mathematical thinking power that was just crazy. And the things that he came up with using the Pharaoh Shuffle are just amazing. Amazing. I'm blown away with it. But the book doesn't just have Pharaoh Shuffles uh, and, and things that you can do with that. Uh, the book also contains loads of other things. There's a lot of material here on palming. Very advanced, high-quality palming techniques. All his information on second dealing center dealing and bottom dealing is here. So if you're interested in those false dealing type effects and techniques, look no further. The material here on that is amazing. And that was one of the things that really intrigued me about the book because I look more for the gambling sleight of hand uh, material that I can find in the book. And the Pharaoh Shuffle definitely uh, helps a lot with creating new and different material when it comes to gambling sleight of hand, but also that content on second dealing, center dealing, and bottom dealing is also exceptional and very, very intriguing. Uh, not to mention, as I said before, uh, different techniques on palming, different techniques on shuffling. The book is really jam-packed with a ton of information. There's so much material here that Honestly, if you solely devote yourself to the study of this book alone, you probably won't ever need anything else, really. Uh, you will never, ever, in a lifetime, you will never be able to do everything that's in this book. And that is true with any magic book. You never use everything that's in the book. You pick and choose the items that you most want and the items that you most need and you focus on harnessing and training those and those are the ones that you incorporate into your routines and i do have to say that this book is just fantastic if you really want to go to the next level if you really want to graduate if you really want to upgrade into the real knuckle busting hard hitting hardcore sleight of hand you got to get this book. As a friend of mine and I were talking the other day, there's people who won't bat an eye in spending 50, 60, 70 dollars on a deck of cards. But when it comes to a magic book, you don't want to pay any more than 10 or 12 bucks. The deck of cards isn't going to make you a better magician. However, a solid, good quality book will take you there. 
Now, of course, you have to put hours of practice behind that, but the book is really what's going to get you there. And this book will get you there. Believe me, it will get you there. This is some next level stuff. However, I will say this. This is not a book for beginners. If you are a beginner, do not buy this book. Do not make this investment and do not buy this book. You need to have some form of familiarity with sleight of hand magic. You gotta have that. If you don't have that beginner foundation, this book isn't going to help you. Quite the contrary, you're gonna get frustrated and you're not gonna be able to pull off the techniques in this book. So if you are an intermediate looking to move towards that advanced spot, get the book. If you are an advanced practitioner, but you want to have more of that knuckle-busting, hard-hitting material, get this book because it's going to be a strong addition to that advanced material and content that you already have. I 100% recommend this book. I think this book is fantastic and it blew me away. I knew that it was going to be a good book, but I never would have believed that it was going to be this book. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like on the video, click the bell notification. And if you have any questions, any questions at all about the book, let me know down in the comments below. I will more than gladly answer any questions you have about the book. So that's going to be it, guys. Take care. Thanks.